हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सर्वर गैम माई नेम इज डॉक्टर लॉकेंद्र सिंह एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एप्लीकेशन लोड बैलेंसर नेटवर्क लोड बैलेंसर एंड क्लासिक लोड बैलेंसर वॉट ऑल आर दीज थ्री वाई डू वी यूज इट एंड वे डू वी यूज इट ओके बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड डो नॉट फॉर्गेट टू प्रेस बेलाइकन एज यू विल बी नोटिफाइड फॉर माई अपकमिंग वीडियोज ओके so uh, like one basic interview question is like how many types of elbs do we have on the platform of aws so the answer is three first of all is app it means application load balancer then after nlb it means network load balancer and the last one is classic load balancer so if you go to console of aws so you can see here that all the like uh, load balancers these are available so classic load balancer is shown like that is of previous generation it means that used to support the http https and tcp connection wherein if you talk about network load balancer so that support tcp and tls connections if you talk about application load balancer so it supports http and https then after when we are talking about that what all features do this provide so let us talk about feature first of all so a major feature of http your app load balancer is it provides http and https support it it works on layer 7 this is also an interview question like on which prot on which layer does your applings load, load balancer work so that that works on load uh, like load balancer works on layer 7 http as support this provides ip address as target it can support as uh, i have drawn here one is a sketch like uh, as you can see application load balancer will receive traffic from your route 53 so this is route 53 route 53 uh, will send traffic to elb and elb will further uh, distribute this among multiple target groups so uh, let me type in here tg it means target group so these are <coughs> sorry these are two target groups depends on my requirement maybe i have two two different type, uh, type of requirement coming on this server first one is www.servergan.com so if request comes for this url then this will be my target group i can have multiple ec2 instances under this second one i can have like uh, www.servergan.com/app this will this will be as uh, this will be treated as your path based routing then after app.servergan.com if request comes in this manner so this will be treated as your uh, your host based routing so as uh, you can see here that this is this provides two type of routing either host based or path based as you can see here host based routing and path based routing so host host based means that uh, your traffic is routed based on your host name like app. Uh, servergan.com or the path based www.servergan.com/slash then app it means this is considered as app which means path based and this is considered as host based okay then after uh, not only your target groups but obviously if you have lambda function configured so lambda function can also be used as a target for your application load balancer then after http2 support is supported here http http2 is latest version of protocol wherein long live connection can be uh, live alive then after http session is enabled for example your application load balancer send request to this machine if istic session is enabled so for example if there is one actor there is one user he is trying to hit the server again and again so till that time your session gets expired all the request will be forwarded to this particular ec2 instance only no other one will be serving the, his request so that particular terminology or technology is known as istic session then after redirects this is the amazing feature of uh, aws application load balancer it means you have www.servergan.com.com configured and there are two protocols first one is http and second one is https so this provides all the request which are coming to http so all the request will be redirected to https automatically it means this will redirect for this will provide one response code which is known as 302 it means permanent redirection it will go for then after fixed responses if you want your users to face to feel the experience experience of your error code maybe 400 401 402 403 and maybe 406 40 463 and all the response codes whatever you want so application load balancer provides you the feature to provide application uh, error response code as well and which are quite fixed so you can go with them then after 
uh obviously so main key point what what we are going to discuss is like all the all the like load balancers are whether application network or classic these are highly high available health check is configured for all security feature obviously all are secure because this provides http and https both support uh, like these load load balancer can work either on, on layer 4 or on layer 7 then after operational monitor monitoring is support right now what we are doing is we are doing like uh, like product comparison and product details we are going to discuss about okay now let us talk about network elv so like key features are connection based load balancing so as we know like network so network layer work net is this works on layer 4 on osi layer 4 osi model layer 4 it works on then after high throughput if you have like uh, a spike within your network or within your services the particular service which you are serving if there is or there are like uh, sudden hikes or in a spike uh, like uh, traffic goes really high and then and comes low down suddenly so uh, application load balancer is not going to be a good choice for you so you so you need to go for your application load balancer low latency as we are working on tcp and uh, obviously so the time taken through the call that, that is going to be less then after preserve source ip address if you want to track like what is the source ip address and you want to track that so obviously it can forward your source ip address to your application server and you shall be tracking all the things on your application server target group so obviously this is one target group this is another target group so what we are going to see here is application load balancer and network load balancer these supports targets moreover this support is static ip address as well for example if you have your uh, like this particular target group you, target group you have created in your aws account and this is in your on premises data center so yes this is quite possible that you can you can uh, like club both the target groups under one app one network network load balancer this is your network load balancer and multiple apps can be running here then after when we talk about ssl offloading so obviously this provides ssl offloading support it means all the connections which are coming to this particular uh, load balancer which is known as network load balancer so when all the request will come here so this will uh, this will work as ssl offloading all the connection from here you can send on your local connection or local interface on uh, like non secure port reason being because once ssl is terminated here and uh, moreover if you are serving multiple sites on this server so what you can do is this provides the multiple ssl support using uh, amazon certificate manager so that service is providing such a feature wherein you can upload multiple certificate and you can use different certificate with secure ports for example you have a listener that which is 443 and you want to upload multiple certificate with on that So obviously you can use multiple certificates for multiple sites that is quite possible here now uh, tls offloading is available dns failover is available what is dns failover for example if your uh, network load balancer is seamlessly integrated with your route 53 it means if your uh, one network load balancer goes down or that is not in healthy state so obviously dns can manage uh, failover mechanism with that then after classic load balancer so classic load balancer is uh, like Uh, this is traditional as we were seeing here so choose this load balancer when you have existing application running on ec2 machine so when you have such kind of like you want to uh, go for round robin only so you have to choose uh, you can prefer to choose your classic load balancer but keep this thing in mind there is no feature such as target groups like all the targets are associated with your uh, classic load balancer directly <coughs> okay so if you want to know further about this particular topic so you can follow this url i will obviously obviously share this url in the description box you can go to it and you can check like uh, https aws.amazon.com elastic load balancing less features this is a url where you can find further more detail description about these uh, load balancers and obviously how does it work how does it work, do and what all features does it have so some common features are always there but uh, majorly people are asking in interview about your network load balancer and application load balancer one more thing i want to suggest you guys here that when we are talking about redirecting so obviously both the load balancers are providing same feature application load balancer can accept connection on http and https both and obviously it can force your users to redirect url to https 
which is your uh, wherein you can meet your compliance requirement so i have already created some videos for uh, like practical of these elbs maybe uh, app application network and classic load balancer so i will i will share the description i will share the link in description box you can check the practical on that and for theoretical part i have covered all the things here so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server can if you have any further questions so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to uh, share knowledge on that thank you